Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am going to explain how to download Checkpoint Firewall and how to install it in the UVNG. But first, you have to download the Checkpoint image uh, from the uh, Checkpoint website. So you don't have need to sign in or uh, sign up for this. You can just click on this URL. Then you will be able to download the image. So let me show you. So once you click the URL, it will redirect to the download page. Here you can see you don't need to create any sign up or sign in. Just click on download, then it, the image will get downloaded to your laptop downloads. So once you are done, then upload the uh, downloaded image to the uh, EVNG using any softwares. Here you can see I used uh, FileZilla. I used uh, FileZilla to upload to my Eve already. It is in my temp folder. So let me quickly show you this. Here you can see I have already uploaded this. So next step is to create a folder for this image and use the naming convention that is used by the EVNG. So for that we have to create a new uh, folder. So to create a directory in Ubuntu use this command. Okay, so I created the file. So what I'm going to, I'm going to move this image. So this is an ISO file. It's nothing but you are, uh, you know, that you have it in your CD-ROM, like you insert the CD and install the, right? So same thing that what we are going to, it's an ISO image. So we are going to install it. Then we are going to save that install file in the HDA QCOW2 image file format. So that whenever you want to add new checkpoint on the Eve, you don't have to do you know installation at every time so first time installation is okay so watch the video till the end of so the end of the session so that you will understand how to do the commit so what i'm going to do i'm going to move this in this path so okay what we have done currently is we just moved it and we are going to create a hard disk hda.qcow2 the qcow image we are going to create and then we are going to install this software which is inside the iso file into the hda you can see it has got created so next step is to do the installation okay now we have it so the next step log into your eve to start with the installation so I have a checkpoint in case. Let me show you from the fresh how to do it. So right click, click on node. Then you can see it's already presented here. And before, before that, let me fix the permission. I don't think it's required because we didn't add the image yet. But still, I'm doing it for the safer side. And second thing, you have to use the VNC. So make sure in the console, you select the VNC. So that the installation will be done by the VNC console. We cannot do it using the Telnet. So make sure you change the console to VNC. Yeah, you can see. Install it on the system. When we start the installation, you have to be wait for at least 5 to 10 minutes to complete the process. So wait till it completes. So then next step is to ask for the admin password and the IP address that we use for the management console for the GUI. Now the installation step started. So hit enter. Okay. Then you okay. Then use the tab option. Click okay. Then it's ask for password. The password should be good. Okay. 
Okay. Next, it asks for the network interface cards. So we use the Ethernet one for the management. You can see that it asks for the management IP. My UENG IP is 192.168.161.24. So I'm going to assign one IP. And the default gateway is dot two. Click OK. Then use the command arrow option to install it. Then it's preferred for the installation and start the installation. It will take like five to ten minutes. Depends on the CPU and RAM that you have it in your PC. So it takes time only if during the uh, installation step and after that whenever you add the new time the image and uh, you want to do a new lab that time will take almost like one or two minutes to one minute to boot up for the CLI. Let's wait for it to complete it. So what happens is why I'm saying that you have to watch the video till the end because once we done the installation then we have to do the commit for this image because we are now installing it from the uh, CD that's ISO to the hd.qo2 then we do the commit and all the installation will get saved otherwise what happens you do the lab you switch off then you create a new lab or you you add a new node for the checkpoint so again you have to start doing this installation process every time to avoid this installation process so we do a commit for the hd in the qco2 vm so that whenever it adds the next time, it boot up with the, the installation steps, right? You don't have to do the installation. Now the installation is completed. So I'm going to do the reboot. After the reboot, once it comes up, then we'll be able to log in using web GUI. So let's wait for it boot up. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the console mode for this checkpoint from VNC to CLI that is Telnet actually uh, Telnet because I feel like little difficult in doing configurations or checking commands in VNC so I use Telnet or SSH now we have the login admin the password that I said yes it is up now so what I'm going to I'm going to switch off I'm going to turn off the router it's done so I'm going to right click edit change the console to telnet because we have done the installation the next add a cloud so that it connects to my management cloud with this subnet so that I'll be able to access it the, using the web GUI then right click then start then it will power of the power on the router then once we have the CLI login then we can start doing our configuration yes it take like few minutes not longer though Okay, now we have the login back. Check the show version. Sorry. Show interface. Interfaces, it will list all the interface. Show configuration will display the complete configuration. In the startup, show. Ethernet zero. This is the interface that we use for our management. So use this IP. I'm just copy pasting this IP. I'm gonna paste it. So so here you can see the site cannot be reached because you have to use SSH. Sorry, uh, you have to use the HTTPS. So currently when I copy paste it, HTTP. So I'm gonna do HTTPS secure connection. See now there are now the windows pop up. It's very simple guys you don't have to do much it's very simple installation the last step is important in committing the changes that you have done it to the qco2 so that next time when you add it will not
let me see the password is the same pa password actually maybe i typed it using the cap so yes so is the same so next just give next 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 so next so next do you want to change the timeline yes i can change your timeline and next yes next so it depends on your like require requirement that you can change it let's see you have to wait for this complete completion then we will commit the changes to our image now the installation steps finished for the gui okay just press the system wait for booting rebooting so once it done the rebooting we are going to turn off the router then we do the commit now it is rebooted so what i'm going to i'm going to turn off stop it so i'm going to log into the e then we do the changes we do the commit the next time when you add you don't have to do this installation step once again so this is the path then here you need to find your uid uid assign for your vm so i check it here lab details then you get this then copy this then go inside then check this right click then you see it's a cp1 see this place one yes then here so what are the installation that we are doing currently it is saving in the temporarily here on this lab so what we are going to do we are going to commit this to the directly to the image that we have added here so the next time when it boots it boot directly to the cli so let me do the commit for this so this is the command i'll give this command in the description you can use this command to commit it yes so what you have to do you have to go inside this particular path then do the commit so that this configuration will get saved in the sd.qcov2 which is in there in the folder that we have so you can to verify it you can check the file size let me show you that let me do the duplicate session because you should understand like how the commit is happening so when I react to this path, you see the file says now it's getting committed now. Yeah, you can see the images. It says that image completion is done. So when you add the image next time, you don't have to do or go through all the installation steps. So let me show you that as well. So that's the reason I asked you to watch the video till the end. Otherwise, you guys will miss this step. Right click and do a start. You can see that it's directly going to the CLI, like installation after installation, so whatever the process. So you don't have to do the installation next time. So I hope uh, you guys have some understanding how to do the first time installation and how to do the commit changes so the next time when you add this image to your eu lab so that it will come up with the install installation installed file otherwise you have to do the installation again so do share with your friends who need who you think that it may need for them in for the lab testing do like comment and share with your friends and thanks for watching guys